Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you how you could set up your course and allow the user to say type their name in at the start of the course and you can refer to that name throughout the entire course. I guess it's a good way of you know, personalizing the course experience. And to do that we're going to use a thing in, in Storyline called a text variable. Now variables are really great little um, great little features that you can use that will allow you to um, you know, raise the level of your courses to, to something beyond what you can do with uh, normal buttons and triggers and those sorts of things. And there's a couple of things we need to do, so I'm going to step you through the, the process. Here I've got a, a very basic sample and we have a an intro slide and this is the part of the course I would do this up front and this is where we want to collect the information of the person's name. And to do that, for them to be able to type into Storyline, to type into the screen, I'm going to need to insert what's called a text entry field. Now, to find the text entry fields, you go to the Insert tab and come across to Controls. And if you click on the drop-down arrow under Controls, there's the data entry section down the bottom. There is numeric entry fields, but we want to use a text entry field. So I'm going to select that. And then much like when you're inserting a shape onto a slide, you get the little crosshairs, and I can left click and draw my text entry field onto my slide, wherever it needs to go. Now, this default text here is just telling me to type it just says type your text here. That's what's displayed when you preview out the slide. I can change that a little bit. I could change that to type your name here just so that it's really clear what we're wanting people to do. And what I should do, if I look down in the timeline now, that box shows up as an object just like other objects are on the slide. And I'm, I like to name all my things, all my objects, all my slides and scenes. So for this box, I'm actually going to name it and I'm just going to call it the name box because that's what it'll be. So I need to name the actual shape, the object itself, the data entry field. If I look over in the trigger panel, I can see that the name, my object, the, what I've named my object in the timeline appears. And the trigger under that is to set text entry equal to the typed value when the control loses focus. Now what that means is that Whatever the person types into this box, that becomes the value of the text variable. Because initially, this text variable has no value at all. It's just empty. It's an empty field. And that's why it will allow you to type into it. And you might be thinking, well, how do I know that? Because the thing with Storyline is variables exist. They're like containers. They And, and you... Uh, it, they, you, you, you can collect information and store it in, in the variable container then use that throughout the course. So they kind of exist in the background and to get to, to see what variables I am using in, in my course over in your trigger panel there's a little box over in the top right corner it's the manage project variables button and if you click on that you can see all of the variables in your course. Now by inserting a, t a data entry field into my project, the action of doing that actually creates a text variable by default. Okay. Now the thing with that is, even though I've named the object in the timeline, I should actually name the variable itself because if I have a lot of text entry variables, it, will, it can become difficult to tell them all apart. So I like to again name it to, to give it some, to name it something meaningful. So I'm going to double click on the text name and I'm going to over type here a new name. And for me I'm just going to call it first name. Now with, with uh, naming of the variables you can't have spaces in the variable name. So if I'm using two words like this I capitalize the first word, the letter in the f of the first word and the letter of the last word. Some people put an underscore between words some people put VAR at the start of their variable name. It really doesn't matter what you call it, but whatever you call it, whenever you're referring to that variable, you need to use the name exactly how it appears in the Manage Project Variables area. So I'm going to leave mine called first name. I can see that it's a text variable, 
and that's how I know it's got no value. It's got a value of blank. Okay, so nothing. So the user can type into it. And then I'm going to say OK. So now my variable has now been renamed. And OK again. Now I can look at my trigger and it says from under the object of my name box, set the first name variable equal to whatever the person types in the box. Okay. Now when we collect that information on this first slide, the idea really is to refer to, to the person's name throughout the course, helping to personalize it. So I've set up a second slide here where this is where we would say, I'm going to say, hi Matt, for example, welcome to the course. Now to be able to do that, we need to refer to the variable in a special way. And the way you need to do that in, in Storyline, whenever you're referring to a variable, is you need to insert the variable name and have a percentage symbol on either side of the variable name. So what I mean is this. So in this case it would be high percent first name percent. Okay? So if I've whatever I've typed in the first on the first screen, that value will appear in place of percent first name percent. Now you can type it in manually like that or you can go to the insert tab and insert a reference and when you click on that that'll bring up your all of the variables that exist in your course and you can select the variable you want to refer to that you want to reference and say OK and it puts it in inside the percentage symbols then I could finish that off by saying welcome to the course now the great thing too is that if the the text will realign itself depending on how long the person's name is. Now we can't actually see all of that working in um, slide view like this. We actually need to preview out, in this case, preview out the scene. And so I can show you that that's working. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to preview this scene. And we'll get to our first slide. Hi there, we need some info. So I can click in the box, I can type, my name is Matt click the next button and here we go hi Matt welcome to the course so if you wanted to refer to the person's name or the, the the value that they type in is their name throughout the course you just use that reference all throughout your course and the name will keep popping up every single time so I've entered the information once but the variable remembers that information and then we can use that information throughout the course well that's it that's using a text variable to uh, personalize a e-learning module for the user. Uh, that's all from me. See you next time.